and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY round bag and the reason I wanted to make it is because I've been seeing a lot of comments in my previous bag videos and I just wanted to make a new design that you guys can try and if you do you can send me photos to my social media because I really like seeing you guys recreating my DIYs it really makes me happy so I hope you guys enjoy it and give it a try to make this bag I used about one yard of fabric and I also created this pattern with all the dimensions that you can download from the description box so it's easier for you to cut out all the back pieces. The first step is to cut two pieces of fabric that are 10 inches long and 3 inches wide. Go ahead and fold the top and place it over a 7 inch zipper and repeat with the other piece. Finally, using a sewing machine, sew a straight stitch on both sides of the zipper. And once you finish, it should look something like this. For the next step, you need two pieces of fabric with these dimensions and two D-rings. With the wrong side of the fabric facing you, fold the edges one on top of the other like this and sew around. Then place the D-ring at the center of the fabric and fold it. Finally, repeat the same steps with the other piece and place them on both sides of the zipper. Grab your base B piece and place the right side of the fabric facing down on the zipper and then sew the sides. Now cut two circles that are 30 cm in diameter and place one with the right side facing down. Next, using a couple of clips, place them around so it stays in place and sew around the edge. Turn the back on the other side, making sure the zipper is open and place the other circle on the top. Repeat the same steps of the clips and sewing around. Once you finish, flip the bag inside out and it should look something like this. The final step is to make the strap and these are the materials that you are going to need. Cut a fabric that is 3 inches wide and 3 inches long. And what I'm going to do is fold the edges one on top of the other, placing some clips so it stays in place and sew around. Then using some pliers, I joined the D-ring with a 5-inch chain and placed them on both sides of the strap and sew it so it stays in place. And finally, using some pliers, attach the chain to the D-ring on the bag and you're finished. I am really happy with how this bag turned out and I hope you guys gave it a try.
If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me in the comments below any other type of videos you would like for me to do next. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!